Welcome to Tamil Guitar Lessons. A very happy to see you once again, guys. Isaac Thayil here. So this is our first lesson in eight open chords you must learn series. I'm going to teach you each chord in each video, and by end of the series, you can definitely play hell a lot of chords. I mean, hell a lot of songs. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do consider subscribing so that you won't miss any of my new videos. Let's get a close look. All right, guys. The first chord which we want to learn is E minor. It's one of the easiest chord. Uh, if you already know this chord, I'm going to teach you little nuances to fine tune this chord. Okay. The chord diagram is here. If you're new to chord diagram, if you don't know how to read it, uh, I'll put the link in the card so that uh, you can learn it. And also in the description, I'll leave the link. All right. Take your middle finger and place it on second fret of the fifth string. Normally, guys, the strings are numbered in this way: one, two, three, four, five, and six. It's a six-string chord. Uh, place your middle finger on second fret of the fifth string, and your ring finger on second fret of the fourth string. As I mentioned, it is a six string chord, so you have to play all the six string. The common mistake beginners do is they try to squeeze the chord like this. They put the finger behind the fretboard, I mean the thumb, and they try to squeeze like this. At the beginning, it's fine, but you shouldn't play like that. You shouldn't squeeze with your thumb to get the pressure. It's better to hug the chord and play. I'm hugging the chord somewhere over here. I'm not definitely squeezing like this. So this is the best way to play E minor chord. At the very beginning, sometimes it may happen like. You may get this kind of sound. It's completely fine. Make sure you give the correct pressure over here. It's always advisable to play each string one by one. Make sure everything is nice and clean. Sometimes you may mute your first string like this with your middle finger. So what happens is you have to take it off and place it in such a way you don't mute the first string. It hurts a bit at the very beginning, but you can definitely learn. And now I'm trying fourth string. That's fine. Sometimes you may get a sound like this. Make sure recheck your position. Just try it, and then third string. Sometimes you may mute it with your ring finger. So make sure you bend your. These two string, I mean these two fingers, like this. If you play like this, you make it mute. Try to squeeze the string. Try to fret it in this area. So make sure every string, every note is neat, crisp, and clear. If you get any kind of muting sound. Recheck, place it again. Try it. That's it. So this is your first chord. Second chord will be learning E major. Good luck, guys. Cheers.